Ministries and some other ministries and so on. Uh, and then we have the Ministry of Education, which is 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 the Ministry of Education, If you're going to call us more fathers, don't call the world call of the governor, the deputy governor, the house of assembly members, the speaker, the this, the that, and then traditional our royal fathers. Uh, I thought we had our royal fathers. Can you not call us earlier like you call your own father? At least we're going to be here till we die. I cannot run away. I'm going to go from black eyebrow to grey eyebrow one day. And I will still be meeting your sons and your daughters in this very home. By the grace of God, if you choose to call me back and surround me to do my wisdom from the little that I've learned on the earth. So all I think that the official minister really asked for is cooperation with the governments of the day. If the people at the local level of the kingdom understand that when the king talks, the governor is going to stand by him. The local government chairman is going to stand by him. And it's not going to be one local government chairman because he comes from a different area that now wants to embarrass the king or teach the king the lesson. Once you do that, you, you are creating a problem of law and order. You're creating a problem. If the government is seen to be fractured, if a government is seen to be fighting itself, you can't expect the people to respect you. And we might not have constitutional rules, but believe me, we as traditional rules, we are part and parcel of the government of this country. We always have been, we always will be. We are there to help you. I know that I am. I cannot see my governor or my local government chairman having a problem and I don't try to offer a solution for that problem. Or I do not make myself available if the governor needs me, or if Mr. President needs me. But that should also be reciprocated. Do not get me wrong. Once a traditional ruler starts putting his hands into inequity and wrong, then he should be met with accordingly. It's you that has decided to do that. The Bible says, go beyond to the kings and queens of the earth. There's a reason that that warning is there. That warning tells you the more power you have, the more responsibility you have, the more humble you must become. It's a warning to leadership. You will also be judged. As an individual, you will be judged on your own, according to God. Every individual must bear their own judgment. Me, I have to fear for my life because my judgment is that of every single one of my subjects. When God judges me, I'm going to be judged on the lives of my people and what I did or what I didn't do to make life good or better for my people. So as a result of that, I try to live board, above board as much as possible. I have the confidence that I have because I know that I'm not doing anything wrong. And I will not so that or in any way give that away for anything. I like my voice. I like
like to be able to tell you what we're doing is wrong. I'm more beneficial to you as a brother and as a friend if I can tell you the truth. And I will tell all of you the truth as much as I can. And I'm not trying to insult you if I tell you the country has to be better. I'm not trying to insult you if I tell you the world has to be better. I'm not trying to insult you if I tell you we must gain back the trust of the people. Everybody in life can improve. Even the best professor in the world can still learn something more. I only had my first child at the age of 38, which is very, very late. I so wish I had my children a lot earlier. But that is how I made it, because I got people not aligned with me. It happened that way, it happened that way. But at the end of the day, how did those children taught me, and even my own children, I'm learning from them every day. My first two children were very, very calm, very, very nice. My queen sent me a video last night. The last baby, 31 years old. Crying very heavily, just carrying his milk bottle, ran and threw it. I said, what was going on? She said, I changed my hair. I said, he didn't like the hair. <laughs> the first two, very, very calm. This last song, not big problem. <laughs> but it's okay. I now have to learn how to deal with this new child's best science. Everybody's different. Everybody's unique. And you must appreciate and respect people for their uniqueness and for their differences. That's what makes this country so beautiful. We all saw the Shakri crown the other day. How beautiful and colorful was it? It was amazing. And yes, so we now have another young, articulate, young traditional man. I've known his majesty for a long time now. And he's an amazing young man. And you've spoken sensibly. I know what he wants to do for the kingdom of Bobby and for his people. All he needs is the backing of the God. If the federal government and the state governments were backing me, I know how much business I could bring to Nigeria. I know how much business has wanted to come to Nigeria because of me. But my dear, until we get the security situation right, none of them are willing to come anymore. Nobody wants to be kidnapped. Nobody wants to be held hostage. And we're bleeding, we're hemorrhaging. So please, gentlemen, whoever you need to arrest, plan and arrest them. We are not looking forward to seeing 1,000 naira to one dollar. I don't want to see it in my life. Let's start to reverse it. And the only way that we can reverse it is by becoming productive. The only way we can reverse it is by becoming the law. So, my dear, what traditional leaders can do to be a great sustainable development is still down to the government that holds all the cards. We can only work with you to the extent that you will allow us and encourage us to be able to work. That is just the truth. Two of us have to do this thing together. We cannot do it one without the other.